This sampler was made by my seventh grade grandmother. Seventh? Seventh. In 1685, she was seven years old, in Rhode Island. She was the daughter and granddaughter of Rhode Island colonial governors. The sampler ended up in Indiana by coming down the Ohio with another later part of the family. And, and you have it today, and you've preserved it, it today. to this day. Yes. Well, when you brought it up to my table, I said, oh, it's an English sampler. And we see lots and lots of English samplers. You know, e English right. samplers, even from this date, although 1685 80. is pretty early, even for an English sampler. But yes. for an American sampler, this is unbelievably rare. I didn't know that. <laughs> it is incredibly rare. Let's see if we can read this together. It starts with the alphabet. And goes A, B, C, D, all the way through Z. All the way Z. through. Uh -huh. Then it says, this sampler was made in the eighth year of my age. Deliverance, Clark, 1685. It's a well-accomplished sampler with intricate details. Beautiful thistles here and uh, clover leaves here. These were made to show off your abilities as a seamstress. Mm -hmm. And they were, you know, at eight years old, you couldn't say that <laughs> she was coming of age, but it was basically a piece that she was showing off that I can do great needlework and I am preparing myself to be a housewife someday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in the scheme of things with samplers, we generally think sort of the heyday of samplers in America are from the 18, 20s, 30s, and 40s. You've done all the genealogical work. The fact that it made its way from Rhode Island to Harrison, Indiana, which is where the genealogical work suggested it came mm -hmm. to, and survived is amazing. When this came down the Ohio River in the 1830s, this piece was already 145 years old. It's so rare, I've never seen one in my 23 years oh. of business. I've never seen a 17th century American sampler. I would say that, you know, conservatively, that it's probably worth ten to fifteen thousand dollars. If I if I were you and I wanted to insure it, I would probably insure it for twenty-five thousand dollars or more. Okay. Now, okay. It, you might be saying, if it's so rare, why isn't it worth more? Well, it's not a very exciting sampler. That's the thing. It's a typical sort of English look, mm -hmm. but believe me, that date of 1685, I'm getting goosebumps standing here talking about it.